Hello children, today we will be learning about monotremes. Let's begin. Monotremes are one of the three main groups of living mammals, along with placentals and marsupials. Monotremes are the only mammals that lay eggs. The word monotreme comes from the Greek words mono and trema, meaning one and whole. This refers to the single opening monotremes have, which is used for excretion and reproduction. Like almost all other mammals, they are also warm-blooded and have hair. Like other mammals, the monotremes nourish their young with milk produced in mammary glands. You see, monotremes have no nipples. However, the milk oozes out of mammary gland ducts onto the mother's fur, and the young lap it up. Monotreme eggs are protected by a soft, leathery shell, like the eggs of reptiles. When the eggs hatch, the young are relatively undeveloped and completely dependent on their parents. In both kinds of monotreme, the young break from the egg with the aid of an egg tooth, and a fleshy nub called a caruncle. This feature can also be found in reptiles. There are only two kinds of monotreme that survive today, the platypus, which is native to Australia, and the echidnas, found in Australia, New Guinea, and nearby islands. Today, there are only four extant species of echidna, and they include the Western Long-Beaked Echidna, Sir David's Long-Beaked Echidna, the Eastern Long-Beaked Echidna, and finally, the Short-Beaked Echidna. So let's talk more about the two living monotremes in the world. Let's start with a duck-billed platypus. The platypus has a bill, duct webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. They have electroreceptors similar to the shark. They lay eggs like a lizard. They have limbs on their side like a crocodile. And they are venomous like a snake. Platypus is the only Australian mammal known to be venomous. Males have a venomous spur above the heel of each hind leg, which some scientists believe are used to assert dominance over other males during breeding season. Platypuses are nocturnal. They sleep during the day and are active at night. When first discovered, the unusual look of a platypus caused considerable confusion and doubt among European naturalists and scientists, many of whom believed that the animal was a fake. Next, let's talk about echidnas, specifically the spiny anteater. They have spines like a porcupine, a beak like a bird, a pouch like a kangaroo, and they lay eggs like a reptile. When they've located a meal, the echidna's long tongue shoots out to scoop a snack. Echidna's tongues are covered in sticky mucus that makes it easier for them to catch prey. The female echidna lays a single egg into a pouch on its belly. The hatchling is quite embryonic and it lacks hind limbs. A newly hatched puggle weighs only about half as much as a miniature marshmallow. Amid an echidna's hair, sharp 2 inch spines provide protection from predators. If an alarmed echidna can't run away or hide, it curls up into a prickly ball. They are electroreceptive. Like the platypus, the echidna has an electroreceptive system. Here are fun facts about monotremes. A unique feature that platypus have is that they have no stomach. That's right, their food is digested straight from the gullet to the intestines. A baby echidna and platypus are called a puggle. In 1991, a fossil tooth of a 61 million year old platypus was found in southern Argentina, since named Monotrematum. Platypuses or platypi, the plural of platypus is platypuses. Newly hatched platypuses are the size of lima beans. Platypus is one of the only three mammals that produce venom. The others are the slow loris and the European mole. Adult monotremes don't have teeth, and finally, they live to about 10 years. And that is all for today's lesson. I do hope you enjoyed learning about monotremes today. 
Well, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.